Do you want to find out how many different ways better sleep impacts your ability to peak perform during the day? In this video, we will go through the top five different ways sleep and getting better quality and quantity of sleep can improve your performance during the day. Hi there, my name is Beatrix Schmidt, a sleep coach and speaker from the sleepdeepmethod.com. If you're struggling to get quality sleep during the night and it impacts your performance during the day, or you're actually really struggling with insomnia, hit the subscribe button below and come back each week for more practical ways that you can overcome your insomnia naturally. Our ability to be able to really peak perform during the day is very much linked to the amount of quality sleep we had at night not just in terms of the number of hours, but in terms of how refreshed do we feel during the day, how much mental energy we have uh, during the day as well. And stay tuned till the end because I will share with you a couple of eBooks that we have put together to help you to be able to either overcome your insomnia or really be able to boost your energy levels during the day. So you can really do the best you can with all the number of hours that you have during the day working. The first and really important part of peak performing is obviously being physically healthy. And when you get really good quality sleep at night consistently, you're able to wake up refreshed and therefore have physical energy to be able to get through the day. And I'm sure that you experienced one of those mornings when you literally had to drag yourself out of bed. I know in the past I've experienced them as well and, and every so often it happens, that's natural. But when you have this consistently, it really impacts your physical ability to be able to get through the day. It impacts your energy levels. It impacts the kind of food you're actually craving. And it does impact um, your ability to maintain healthy weight and healthy uh, aging across the number of years. The second way better sleep and really great quality sleep improve our, our peak performance during the day is in terms of mental performance, the clarity you have during the day to be able to make decisions, the focus you're able to actually put into the work that you do, and also being able to deal with distractions. Because we all get distracted sometimes, but our ability, our mental ability to be able to get back into the work and back into mental focus is really important for us to be able to produce and pre-perform during the day. The third and really important way better sleep improves your peak performance is in terms of your emotional stability. And what do I mean by that? We all experienced days when we were really tired and we, we got snappier, um, we weren't as patient, we weren't able to be as compassionate towards other people. And this is, these are really important qualities uh, to look at when you look at peak performance. Our ability to really be able to get the best out of our day will be impacted by our ability to be able to uh, emotionally handle all the things that come at us. This is where sometimes we get overly anxious about something that we might have made a mistake with when we're more tired. And this is one of the most common things that I hear from clients who struggle with insomnia is their inability to guarantee that they're going to be able to emotionally support, support themselves first of all, and support their team or the other people that they're working with, or even family members. Now that we've gone through the three different ways that sleep and better sleep impacts your peak performance, I would love to know what is it that you think can really boost your peak performance the most. So if you use the poll card above and let me know, is it your physical uh, abilities that can really boost your uh, peak performance? Is it your mental abilities? Or is it that your emotional abilities can really support you to get through the day and really be able to get the most out of it? So uh, look at the poll card above and let me know which one you think is impacting your peak performance the most. Fourth and really important way sleep can actually really help us to improve our peak performance it has a lot to do with how quiet our mind is when we put our heads onto our pillows and getting or trying to get to sleep. And I come across with, um, with clients a lot when this mind chatter, this negativity towards the end of the day really takes over. And this is almost something that's actually creating 
the sleep disturbance, the sleep problems to begin with. And I remember the time when I struggled with my sleep as well. Towards the end of the day, often we can pause and really think we really didn't do so well during the day and it can really impact how able we are to becoming to become peaceful and drift off to sleep and have that quietness that sleep represents both in terms of in our head and also in terms of relaxation in our body the last and fifth way better sleep actually really impacts our peak performance has a lot to do with confidence so when you are able to sleep really, really well at night, consistently, you know you can guarantee that during the day you're going to be able to really perform really, really well. But when you have a couple of days worth of not so great sleep, this starts to actually take the confidence away from your daytime productivity, your daytime pre-performance. And I've seen this often, especially with clients who have been struggling with insomnia or other sleep-related problems for a period of time. Our, our inability to be able to guarantee sleep takes a little bit away from our confidence every single day because suddenly we can't guarantee that actually we're going to be able to produce good quality work during the day and that affects how we actually how confident we feel about the outcome of the entire day how confident we feel about being able to manage our time time really efficiently how much we're able to be confident about our ability to really get through challenges really well and easier during the day. And I think this is the last and really important part of why I would encourage you to really improve your sleep, look at ways of overcoming your insomnia, because all those different things add up. All the different things I mentioned during the, this video will add up to your ability to really be able to 100% peak perform every single day. Now that we've gone through all the five different ways better sleep can really improve your peak performance, I want you to tell me which one you think is impacting your performance the most. And if you haven't interacted with the poll card during the, the middle of this video, I would love you to use the comment box below and let me know which one you think is really causing you not to be able to peak perform during the day. And as I promised at the beginning of this video, I'll give you two different resources uh, or the option of two different resources that we have created. Um, the first one is 28 ways you can overcome your insomnia naturally. That's an ebook that will give you all those different steps that I often use with my clients. And the other one is 21 ways that you can boost your energy levels after a sleepless night. Both, both of those ebooks will help you to overall look at your sleep, sleep problems, put things, practical things in place that you, so that you can actually overcome and really produce great quality work during the day. If you want to go and grab one of the ebooks that I mentioned, look at the description below. I will put the links in there for you and decide whichever you want, or you can have both of them if you want. Uh, go ahead and grab them and start using them straight away because they do actually include practical things that you can start implementing into your everydays. Did you like this video? If you did, again, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to come back next week because I will do a follow-up video on this one and really look at what are the practical things that you can put in place so you can really actually improve your peak performance during the day and therefore look at improving your sleep as well and vice versa. So we'll look at both of the topics in the next video and give you some practical ways that you can do that. So thank you so much for watching and I'm really looking forward to sharing more practical things with you in next week's video.